Okay, so there's this big story that's going viral right now. I don't know if you heard it about the three Kansas City Chief fans that were found in the backyard of their friend's home frozen to death. What? What? Yes, this is a crazy story. So look, the, the families are angry, people are pissed off, the internet's going crazy because this is a real murder mystery. So they were all supposed to be going to this guy named Jordan's house, right? They go to Jordan's house and allegedly they watch the football game and then they all just don't come home. So the families start going to start, you know, trying to figure out where every these guys are. These are all guys with families and friends. They're all in their late thirties. You know, people are looking for them. These are not like, you know, strangers. So, and everybody knows that they went to Jordan's house, right? To watch the game. So Jordan's not answering his phone for two days. Eventually, one of the fiancés of one of the men checks her phone, realizes that it's pinging at Jordan's house. She goes to Jordan's house. She's knocking and banging on the door. This man's not answering. She know her man in there. <laughs> so she breaks in and she's like screaming through the window that she broke trying to get in. Like, hey, Jordan, you know, trying to get his attention. Man does not answer. During this time, as she's in the backyard, she stumbles across one of the bodies. Right? So then she calls the police and the police get there and they find two more. Oh, right. So. So you sat there in the backyard. Exactly. Frozen. Frozen with no apparent signs of foul play per the police. So that means that there's no gunshots. There's no stabbings. There's no bruises. These dudes are just. No bruised. physical violence that we can see. But there are three grown people. Big, Full grown 36 year old, 38 year old men, right? In Jordan's backyard, Jordan. and Jordan's been asleep for two days. Alle allegedly. So they asked Jordan, can we search the house? Jordan's like, cool, search the house. They search the house, they find nothing. They take the guys away. Um, and then this is when things start to get a little bit even more crazy. Why? Well, there starts to be information that starts trickling out that doesn't make a lot of sense. So during this time, of course, the family's looking for the, the guys that are missing, right? All of these families, all of these friends are, are hitting Jordan because they know that they went to Jordan's house to, you know what I'm saying, to hang out. Jordan's been asleep, this is what he tells everybody, for two days. They're like, well, did you leave the house? Well, Jordan left the house sporadically. Then he changes the story a little bit later. Well, I left my room sporadically, but I only received Facebook messages. I never received any texts. Very strange. So the time that he was up. I guess he's claiming he didn't check it. He's clean. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth. And he never went to his backyard. Fair enough, right? And then things get even crazier because people, are, of course, are going to ask, well, did you see them leave? What happened? His first story or the first story that the lawyer said was that Jordan was asleep when they left. So he fell asleep before they even left, right? Guys in his house now. Okay, whatever. Then the story changes a little bit later and the lawyer says, no, he walked them to the door and then they left, right? And then he went to sleep. Very strange as well. So you said these are three grown men. Three grown men, right? So again, the families are angry and this goes on for a couple of days. And just recently, like yesterday, a new guy pops up who apparently was also there. Another friend who was there the entire night who hung out with them. And he says when he left around midnight, they were all there. They were all alive. He chunked them the deuce. He left, and that's the end of it. Now, he's saying that Jordan is lying because he himself got the text messages and calls over the next couple of days before the bodies were found. So why would they be contacting me and you didn't get none of these phones, or phone calls or contacts from the family. So now the families are angry. Families and loved ones all have different theories saying maybe these guys have been doing drugs. They weren't known to do drugs, but maybe that has but something to do. But it's possible because That's why awesome. else are they explain. just outside? That's would, so puzzling. You would almost have to knock them out, drag them out there, and then le like let them sleep out there for them to pass away. For them to pass away so easily. And then uh, some other family, but maybe they saw something they weren't supposed to. I don't know. But whatever happened, now this is the big mystery. At this point, Jordan has moved out of his house because he's afraid of retaliation or what might come next. And the families are left with no answers. So the next step is for there to be a toxicology report on these guys. That's what I was going to ask next. Like, there has to be some kind of testing or something. They can't just say, oh, well, there's no signs of foul play, so there wasn't foul play. So there is being an autopsy being done so they can get the toxicology reports, but that can take four to six weeks. So this story is literally brand new. It's only been probably about a week at this point. Maybe not even that. So the families don't have any information. 
they're angry, frustrated because there's a lot of gaps. Like it's a frustrating amount of gaps. And they've lost loved ones, it's losing like, loved ones and no answers. Yeah, exactly. These are three capable men. So not only could they have possibly, and they're not like in the middle of nowhere. They're in like a populated nice residential subdivision. <laughs> there's neighbors. They could just walk somewhere and knock on the door if they get if they got locked out or if, you know what I'm saying. Why didn't they call an Uber? Why didn't they get back in their cars? How did they get there? Where are their cars? Like you know what I'm saying. There's so many questions. There's a lot of questions. That's so odd. When you, for me, the fact that, like you said, there are three grown men. What happened that made them susceptible to being frozen to death? Exactly. And these are... At a friend's home. Small grown men. These are big, burly. I mean, in the pictures, they look like burly, you know. Healthy burly, men. 38, 30, you know, grown men. Like, like capable of defending themselves. Exactly. Right. Exactly. I just, I haven't seen Jordan yet, but I just don't believe that Jordan could have done this and then left no evidence of any foul play. So at this point, the police are not treating this like a murder investigation. They are not suspecting foul play. They uh, are, I guess, also waiting for the toxicology report. But is I, and I don't know if they're saying that to not spook Jordan. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes they do that with investigations. They leave out certain details to keep people as cool and calm. And, exactly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. At this point, they're saying that these guys just miraculously froze. And, and so I'm guessing the only reason why they're saying it is because there's no physical evidence in his house of any type of struggle. It, I'm guessing on their bodies there was no type of evidence of struggle. Right. Were they clothed when they were found? I believe so. They, there was no mention that they weren't. Okay. Because that's a key detail. You would prob yeah. We probably would have heard that. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I believe that they were. And I believe that the thing is, is it is very suspicious that you were able to sleep for two days. It's very, like, is that your normal thing? Like, how is that even a thing? Like Two days. Not even the sleep for two days. Just say, okay, he slept for two days for whatever reason. The not checking messages, that's the first thing people do. We get up and we check our phone. I mean, I, I don't know very many people who don't do that. So, exactly. And so you didn't check your phone. You didn't respond to anybody. None of the family members of all these friends. Because my thing is, you had to be close friends. You let these, you went, you allegedly, uh, and at least in the beginning, you let these guys sleep. You went to sleep with these guys in your house. In you your house. So. You were hosting an adventure house. You must have been pretty comfortable. And so, you know, you don't answer their loved ones when none of these guys show right. up. And then the other family. friend, I know he glad he left when he did. Exactly. And so whatever happened that night, people believe that Jordan knows. Whatever it was, he has some type of inkling and should be able to give some details on what happened. But it doesn't seem like right now they have any information. So I don't know if the police are just keeping certain details to themselves or what it is, but it's very strange. And because of the strangeness and the so many mysteries and so many unanswered questions, now the Internet is going crazy about it. Well, let's just keep track of this and see what happens and see how it plays out. Exactly. That's really all we can do until we get more information. The toxicology report is going to be very interesting. Now, if they come back with nothing in their systems, it's going to be pretty interesting.